Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back in Zion Class Why you boys and girls? Fine? Okay, thank you Our last topic is about identification keys Do you still remember? And today we are going to learn about identifying inver invertebrates Okay? Do you still remember on the first meeting on this semester We have learned about skeleton Do you still remember? Do you still remember the name of this bone? Yes, vertebrates or vertebra or backbones. And do you know that a lot of animal they have vertebrates and a lot of animal do not have vertebrates. And this is why animal's kingdom is divided into two groups. First is vertebrates animals with backbones and second invertebrates animal without backbones animal kingdom is divided into this group two group okay next vertebrates what is the example of vertebrates do you know the examples can you give the examples the examples animals with backbone there are a lot of animals that have backbones and this is the example these are, these are the example like fish, cow, chicken, crocodile. Do you see the backbones? Right? All of them have backbones. Next, today we are going to learn about invertebrates, animal without backbone. Do you know the example? Okay, today I just Give one, I just want to give you uh, some of the sample because after that you may you have to find out uh, observe an example of invertebrates around your house because there are actually a lot of invertebrates from us okay this is the this is the, the, the samples first earthworm yes it doesn't have Backbone, so invertebrates. Next, spider. They also do not have backbone. Next, starfish. Like uh, these are the other example that live in the ocean, like starfish, jellyfish, octopus. All of them do not have backbone. Okay, uh, invertebrates. Most of them are small and hard to see. They hide among grass, plants, leaves, stick, and in soil. Okay, so after this, find invertebrates from different places around your house. You may to go outside and then try to find the sample of invertebrates, and then observe them. Observe about the shape, about the color, the number of legs, the cell. Does they have does it have cells and then skin and how they move and so on and then throw in these boxes right you see right just find out there are a lot of invertebrates around of uh, around of our house okay after that next is complete this key we had learned about identification keys right answer the question for example the, uh, this is number first question is does invertebrates have legs if yes does they have three pairs of legs if uh, six legs then write down in here if they have for example they have uh, more than six legs eight legs write down in here okay is it clear is it right okay do your worksheet there is worksheet there is worksheet is in your lesson kit to your worksheet, have fun. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.